Hello, Busco families. I hope everyone has been enjoying the summer and making memories with friends and family. It's hard to believe, but we will be welcoming our students back to school three weeks from today. As we start making final preparations for the return of our students, I wanted to send out several updates and reminders that may be helpful to you. If you have a returning student, please do not forget to complete the registration process through your PowerSchool parent login. If you have a new student who was not a Smith Green student last year, then please complete the new student registration process through the link on our district website. The entire student registration process can be completed online now, so we will not be holding a traditional registration day this year. However, the school offices will reopen on Monday, August 2nd, so if you have any trouble completing the process, please reach out to your child's school for assistance starting on August 2nd. If you're planning to have your student ride the school bus this year, please be sure to complete the transportation information as part of your student's power school registration process no later than Wednesday, July 28th. We are excited to once again host back to school nights for our families in both schools. At the elementary school, back to school night will be happening on Monday, August 9th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. At the junior senior high, open house will be happening on that same evening from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Incoming sixth graders will have an orientation meeting from 6 to 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium, and our incoming ninth graders will have their orientation meeting from 7 to 7.30 p.m. also in the auditorium. Our first official student day of the 21-22 school year will be Wednesday, August 11th. Finally, I wanted to share an update regarding our plans in response to the ongoing pandemic. As I shared a few weeks ago, we have intentionally waited to take any official action on our plans until later in the summer to allow more time for any changes or adjustments from our health officials to take place. After discussion with our COVID-19 planning committee, which is comprised of a diverse group of Smith Green staff members and parents, we have developed our draft plans that will be recommended to the school board next week. I wanted to quickly highlight a few key areas. First, we will be recommending that Smith Green implement a mask optional policy for students, staff, and visitors while on the Smith Green campus. Individuals who feel more comfortable wearing a mask or other face covering are still welcome to do so, and we will continue to have extra masks available for anyone who would like one. Second, under the current federal order, masks or face coverings are still required on school buses for all riders. This requirement is mandated by federal order and is outside of the control of our school board. As noted in our plan, once this order is changed or rescinded, Smith Green will move to a mask optional policy on our school buses as well. Third, as of the time I'm recording this video, the quarantine requirements for schools are still in place, as ordered by our state and national health officials. Individuals who are determined to be as close contact as someone with COVID-19 are still required to quarantine for the appropriate length of time. Individuals who have been vaccinated, as well as individuals who have recovered from a confirmed case of COVID-19 within the last 90 days, are not required by the Department of Health to quarantine if they are identified as a close contact. Similar to the mask requirement on buses, this requirement is currently outside of the control of our school district. We will immediately revisit this policy once the order is revised or rescinded, as we of course want every one of our children to be here at school every day. For more information regarding the current quarantine requirements in Indiana or the ongoing federal mask requirement on school buses, please visit our school website or the public resources page on the Indiana Department of Health COVID-19 webpage. Apart from those three items, most other school operations will be very similar to our standard operating procedures that were in place prior to the pandemic. We are certainly looking forward to a year that feels much more normal, and we are excited for the day when the rest of these restrictions are removed as well. A copy of our draft plan has been placed on the school website so that parents and guardians have an opportunity to review it if they wish. We've also placed a link to a simple Google form, which provides a way for individuals to share feedback with our school board on the proposed plan if they would like to. Parents and guardians are, of course, also always welcome to reach out to me if you have questions or would like to discuss this or any other topic. As a personal update that is somewhat relevant, a few months ago, I was humbled to be chosen to serve as one of Indiana's representatives on the governing board of the American Association of School Administrators, which is the National Superintendent Association. As part of this role, I traveled to Washington, D.C. last week and met with superintendents from every state. In addition to our meetings and discussions, we also had the opportunity to hear from and talk with various federal organizations and elected officials. I, along with many of my peers from around the country, shared our questions and concerns about how the past year and a half has affected our children and our communities. We also shared feedback about how the ongoing requirement of masks on school buses, as well as the current quarantine requirements, will impact our schools and families. 
Those we spoke with seem to value our input and promise to share it with those who are helping to make these decisions. While I do not know if we will see any changes in the near future, I am hopeful that perhaps our input will lead to some adjustments that would benefit everyone involved. As always, I will share any updates with you as soon as I'm able. Thank you for your continued support of our school district. On behalf of all the teachers and staff at Smith Green, we cannot wait to see all of you in just a few short weeks. Have a great rest of the summer, and I'll be in touch again soon.